everyone so today i'm going to be filming my second video it's been quite a long time since i filmed my first one and as you can see everything is completely different i have a different setup I have my wall is different and i have a new dresser and a new shelf and everything is so freaking pretty if you follow me on instagram i have a lot of it posted already but um i just wanted to go into depth into some uh, on some of these pieces because there are a lot of new pieces and there are some coming um, but I decided that I should probably stop waiting and putting off the video just because there's some coming in the mail because there's always going to be some coming in the mail so um, just being honest with myself and I think I'm going to start at the top and then go down and I'm just going to briefly uh, mention the ones that I already have in my last video and then maybe go into depth in some of the newer pieces. So I think I'm gonna do a little sideways pan out action so you can see how it is displayed and then start over here. So this right here is my cute little pink opal tower. I have a few of these hanging around but this one is my favorite. Looks like pink marble. Back here on the swing sphere stand, I have the super bubblegum pink rose quartz sphere, and I love her. Right here, I have my lavender rose quartz tower, super, super purple, like, oh my god, and juicy and rainbowy. Like, this is like one of my favorite pieces for sure. <clears throat> right here I have this super pretty unicorn stone freeform. She was for sale, but she's been growing on me, so I think I'm going to keep her. I love it. It was 37. <laughs> Still have the sticker on there. I haven't taken it off. Um, super pretty pink amethyst tower with that jersey pocket right there. Pink, and there's some blue up here, some purple. I love the colors on this and the orbicular patterns. So freaking pretty. Right here I have my pink opal tower that my boyfriend got me for my birthday. I freaking love this piece so much. It's so important to me. Right here I have a an amethyst flower agate tower. Super, super pretty, super druzy. Lots of nice inclusions on there. Up there I have my, I think, my third biggest sphere. It's coming in at uh, five pounds. I don't know why, but the color on camera is super washed out. It's not very pink, but I promise in person it's super, super pretty and it has a nice purple stripe right there. Um, but I'm not going to get it down because it's super, super heavy and I don't want to hurt myself or any of my crystals. So, um, here is a super pretty agate sphere with the druzy. Here's the druzy side. I actually have this side displayed right now because I love this purple color. It's so, so pretty, but yeah, that one's so gorgeous. I'm going to put that one back. And then, yeah, so I think that is actually it for this. Oh, wait, there's something, something back here. Blue flower agate. Blue flower, flower agate tower with a lot of druzy on there. Super, super pretty. Okay. Now I'm done with that shelf, and we're going to move on to this middle shelf right here. Let's start on this side. So, I actually got this yesterday in the mail. I received it. Um, I have been looking for black rose quartz, and I finally found a piece that really, really spoke to me. And you can't really tell on camera, but it does have a little bit of a blue um, sheen to it. It won't focus. So, it is a little bit blue rose quartzy, but it's mainly black and there's a lot of really gemmy spots in there that you can see it's true color but yeah this is my darkest piece in my collection now so I feel like it looks kind of weird um, because most of my collection is pink purple blue pastel -y. but I do want to get more darker colors so like obsidian and things like that 
I used to have some, but I actually gave it to my boyfriend, and now it's coming back, so <laughs> it just looks so, so pretty in my collection, and I'm absolutely obsessed with that. Um, right here, I have this super pretty Mozambique Rose Quartz Freeform. Super, oh, oh my goodness. I am like trying to break my crystals. Oh, ah, that's so embarrassing. I hope it's okay. <laughs> I'm getting a little too ambitious here. Um, back here, I have this super, super bubblegum pink sphere. Like, oh my gosh. The color on this one is amazing. And there are plenty of rainbows in there, just hanging around. Back here, I have a super baby pink jelly rose quartz sphere, and this one is my fourth biggest sphere, coming in at four pounds. Um, right here, this is a super, super gemmy rose quartz tower, like it's literally like ice. Oh my gosh, it's so gorgeous, and I really like the rounded bottom so that I can put it in this candlestick holder, and it is perfect. A little bit crooked, but perfect. <laughs> it sometimes falls over. It's, like, so annoying. Um, and then I have a cute, or a couple cute little amethyst points down here on this sphere stand. Thought it might give it some character right here. I have this absolutely amazing amethyst sphere and this thing is like so clear I just got this yesterday with my blue rose quartz tower from an awesome wholesaler and I'm not even joking you like the clarity in this is just crazy like right there it is just seriously so clear and there are so many rainbows in this all around there's a really big one right there oh my god uh, uh, I'm obsessed I'm sorry for the state of my nails they are a little bit old I need to get them redone I do my own nails so I need to redo them <laughs> really bad I think it's ametrine too because there's a little um, darker strip in there that looks pretty citrine looking oh oh my god i can't stop being so clumsy what is my problem bumping stuff right here i have this super super pretty um champagne colored smoky quartz and i love the shape of this girl lots of rainbows in there if i can catch one there's some right there at the top so pretty I love that one. Back here I have a blue rose quartz sphere. Absolutely stunning. If you know me, I am absolutely in love with rose quartz. If you can't tell, <laughs> it's my favorite by far. And this one in the middle is my biggest sphere coming in at 13 pounds. And I swear it's the gemmiest, most rainbowy. There's a six star in this one, six star asterism. And I got it for such an amazing price. This one is my favorite piece of all time and forever will be because, yeah. <laughs> what could you not love about that piece? Oh, it's so pretty. So, so pretty. Like, I can move it around a little bit. It's just so gorgeous. So gorgeous. But yeah, there's that one. And then right here I have this cute little Jemmy Rose Quartz butterfly. I also love me some butterflies. Right here is one of my favorite pieces. This is my Amethyst Double Point. And the clarity, the rainbows, everything about this piece is absolutely perfect. And I seriously just love her so, so much. Could never, ever get enough. Down here, it's like super clear. So pretty. Um, and then back here, I have a super dark pink Mozambique Rose Quartz Tower. 
lots of like layers and flashiness on this girl I love 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 that tower cute little pink gyrosol nice gemmy blue rose quartz tower so 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 pretty a little rainbow right there right here I have one of my favorite flower agate amethyst pieces because the patterns and inclusions are just insane like those formations are so crazy oh and how sparkly she is so lovely right here I have my other amethyst sphere I have another amethyst sphere coming in and she looks a lot more like this one super super like vibrant purple but I really like this dusty um, pastel -y purple because it's just so pretty and this rainbow is just nuts so so pretty and I always have the rainbow just displayed front and center so I can just look at her all day long um, back here I have this really really cute oop, um, lavender rose quartz that rainbow right there is so cute oh there's another one little fractures throughout this girl I love that piece I have them all positioned in a certain way, so I'm like <laughs> really meticulous about it. <clears throat> and this one right here is a super icy rose quartz. Like, uh, I'm trying to get the window glare off of there because you can like really, really see it, but it's just the clarity is just amazing. Like, it's just so, so beautiful. You can see right through it in some parts right there oh my gosh it's so gorgeous I love this piece I love icy rose quartz I just want so much of it it's just unreal so yep yeah, there's that one let me position her then right below this one on these sphere stands is my other blue rose quartz sphere such a cute little sky blue baby I love her. That color is so gorgeous. Ah, it makes me so happy. This one right here is just a cute little gemmy baby. Super gemmy. Right there, you can like see right through it. So, so pretty. And then last on these sphere stands is this super gemmy one right here. Most of my um, rose quartz spheres have asterism. I'm just not really trying to use flash right now, so don't feel like doing that. This one is pink amethyst, and I just love this. I got it as a free de freebie from this girl who destashes her pink lithium collection, which I will be showing in just a second. Um, and it's just so cute. I love the concave druzy in the middle and then last but not least on this shelf minus the curio cabinet back there is this super pretty amethyst flower agate freeform and i love the the formations flowers on there so pretty and the amethyst is super vibrant so yeah there's that shelf pan out one more time and show ya Oh, so pretty. And then right here is this curio cabinet full of goodies. Um, up on the top, I have my amethyst mini points. I used to have these two ones right here up there, but you couldn't really tell that they were there, so I just decided to display them a little more obviously so you could really get um, a, a good look at those. They're super cute. And then I have my pink lithium collection in the middle with a couple random little points back there, like rose quartz and clear quartz and whatnot. I have 
Uh-oh, a few of these are knocked over from when I, oh, knocking things. It is so hard to pick things up with nails, and I'm so terrified of doing this video. I've just been meaning to take these nails off, and I can't get them off, so I am having a little bit of a, an issue with it. Let me try and stand these up. If I can't, I'm not going to waste too much time because I don't want this video to be insanely long. So. Uh, okay, yeah, I give up. <laughs> I'm just going to wait until after the video. But there's a couple of really cute uh, mini ci citrine points like this on the bottom right there. I'm not going to take them out because for obvious reasons that I just explained. Um... But they're so darn cute. And then up here, um, this is mainly what I want to show you. My pink lithium collection is growing. And I'm so, so excited because it's seriously one of my favorites now. Um, a few girls on Instagram have really, really opened me up to the amazing specimen. So I'm so excited. It's just gorgeous. Um, I have a lot of really saturated pieces and some lighter baby pink pieces. And a lot of them are from the same girl. There's one from another girl, and then I got a couple of them on Etsy. So you can really find them in a couple different places, but they are rare, so. Okay, so yeah, that is it for that shelf. Now down to this third shelf here. I have a cute little um, flower agate amethyst free form a pink amethyst free form but it's super super purple I love 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 this chunky baby it's like such a weird shape <laughs> and then back here I have this one is definitely not in my last video um, this is my new largest tower that I own and of course it had to be rose quartz because how amazing is she? I love, love, love this piece. So dark and beautiful. And then back there I have a cute little kunzite sphere. This lovely purple pink amethyst tower with some gray in there. A little druzy pocket. I love the color on this. Like, isn't that just amazing? And the polish on there is really, really beautiful. I have a little bowl right here full of random little things. I have agate. I have some blue lace agate. I have this really, really beautiful purple fluorite. It reminds me of purple rain. <laughs> the color of that is just so gorgeous. Purple fluorite sphere, some amethyst, some random, just random little stuff. And then right here I have my rose quartz palm stone bowl. And there's this beautiful icy rose quartz heart. There's another icy rose quartz palm. Um, another icy rose quartz palm. Some gemmy ones. And then I do have my little Sanrio characters in here just cause. <laughs> and then right here I have this cute little Druzy Agate Moon. Nice and purple. Right here in the middle, I have my second biggest sphere, and she comes in at 10 pounds, and this is pink mangano calcite. She has this beautiful peachy color, and I am seriously forever in love with this baby. She is seriously one of my prized possessions. Very, very rare to find in that size and that color. Right here, I have um, this gorgeous gorgeous. <laughs> this is really gorgeous um, amethyst flower agate freeform. This one is definitely my favorite out of the flower agate freeforms that I have because she has green in there. Whew, I'm almost out of breath. <laughs> I'm kind of trying to be fast about the video just because I want it to... I do have a lot more than I did in my last video, so I don't want it to be a super, super long video, but yes, this is such... A beautiful beautiful piece and then right here I have this amazing purple fluorite butterfly I love her so much she's super rare super cute little blue chalcedony tower um, this amazing bubblegum pink um, asterism and all my rose quartz babies 
And then right here I have a blue calcid knee heart. I'm not going to pick her up because it's really hard to sit her on that stand and not have it fall over a million times. Right back there I have a um, yttrium fluorite tower. And then right here, this is one of my newest pieces and I'm obsessed. This is so amazing. Like, oh! There's so many rainbows all throughout that quartzy bit right there. It's literally purple agate with amethyst druzy. Like, how amazing is this? The color is just bam. Bam. Oh my gosh, I just love it. She's so, so, so beautiful. Definitely one of my favorite pieces now. Just giving you a nice close-up of the whole thing because it's just so so astonishing in the sunlight it's just it, just amazing I just don't even know no words can describe blue cow Sydney butterfly right here and then right here is this super adorable mini trinket dish and it has a bunch of little tiny Rose quartz spheres, pretty much just undrilled beads, but <laughs> you know. And I went on a wild goose chase for that piece because a girl on Instagram had that full of some lavender moon quartz beads. And I asked her where she got it, but she said she got it at a thrift store and that um, it was vintage. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to search literally everywhere for this because it's the cutest dang thing ever. I ha I am a huge sucker for like the little feet on trinket dishes. I don't know why, but it just like adds such an extra little oomph to the, the piece. It makes it so cute and the hearts and everything. It's just so cute. Took so long to find it, but it's worth it <laughs> for sure. There's another one of those pink opal towers back there. And then this beautiful candlestick holder right here has this amazing raspberry colored rose quartz sphere um, let me see if I can get it when it's not in the sun it's like super gemmy so in the sun it doesn't look super dark but then out of the sun it's like my darkest sphere so <laughs> it's just so so beautiful I love it Ooh, look at that nice beautiful rainbow yeah, I love that piece right there. And then right here, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> I just got back from a camping trip, so I'm a little bit stuffy. I have allergies really bad, so it's not always fun for me. Cute little um, pink amethyst. I love her orbicular patterns, and she's super, super sparkly. It kind of reminds me of lip gloss. <laughs> I don't know why. Like the super fine like sparkles in this beautiful color. Just reminds me of lip gloss. <laughs> um, and then aside from it, I have this blue chalcedony moon bowl full of mini spheres. There's a really beautiful rainbow peeking out in that clear quartz sphere right there. And then right here, I have one of my favorite pieces. This is Chinese Tiffany stone also known as opalized fluorite so has amazing inclusions in here like oh my gosh some up here on top I love the green green and purple together so so cute but yeah and then this amazing uh, lavender purple it's more like a lilac but yeah so pretty and I love it because it's a cylinder obviously like ah oh, cylinders are so cute I don't have that's my only one I definitely want to get more because it's just a really really cute shape but um yeah and then down here I have this is my little setup I should probably do the little sideways pan out on these two I totally forgot here and here I have my plant right here so it's kind of hard to see over here, I have this really cute little yttrium fluorite sphere. Uh, excuse me. So, so cute. And I love the little, there's like little, um, 
lightning bolts going through. I don't know if you can see, but it's just so cool. I wanted to focus. There you go. There's like veins running through it and it's so freaking badass. Oh, love that piece. And then I have a little um, butterfly bowl full of chips and random little tumbles. Super cute. I have this curio cabinet and I just have one thing in there. It's just my uh, pink mangano calcite mortar and pestle. Um, and then I have just a bunch of decor. The bottom two shelves are kind of just decor. And then right here I have my... Sorry about that. My camera accidentally got bumped. So yeah that's pretty much it on this shelf and then over here i have a couple cuties i have some pink opal towers right there right there and then i have my biggest um first statement piece and that was in my last video and it's yatrim fluorite she's about a foot tall in my bird cage and then over here i have a couple randos um not randos, that sounded mean. I'm sorry guys, you aren't randos. <laughs> um, Lemurian Aquatine Calcite Butterfly. I love the color on her. I don't really have a lot of like teals and aquas on that side, so all of them are over here. I have this beautiful indigo fluorite bowl, super dusty. Um, I haven't dusted over here yet, so <laughs> I have to get around to that, but it's just full of cute little tumbles. And then I have a little um, blue chalcedony butterfly, and then a um, pistachio calcite star that is also covered in dust. Oh my gosh. Um, a super dusty bowl of random stuff in here. There's a little star right there. Super, super cute. And then I have this pink amethyst freeform. I love this one. Look at that jersey so so pretty um, and then right back here I have my um, cathedral cabinet Let me, oh, thought it was already open open these up I have my Larimer sphere there is the um, I have my really ugly thermostat hidden by this cabinet so I'm really sorry that's just like hanging out back there um, here's my aquamarine tower, my aquamarine star, this really beautiful angelite double point. You can't really tell it's a double point. Here we go. Um, I have a clear quartz double point right here, and then a blue chalcedony tower, a green fluorite tower, an amazonite double point, cute little fluorite perfume bottle, some opalite, um, butterflies and a dragonfly and then a moonstone butterfly and then back there I have my fluorite shells so that's it for that cabinet and I think I am done I think I just yeah I covered everything so yeah that is it I really appreciate all of you watching and see you in the next one bye